Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and my 30 day challenge is over. So let me give you my opinion about the Windows 10 and the Windows Phone platform. Let's go. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video and my 30 day challenge is over. I held these devices for 30 days uh, as my daily driver, not using no other devices. Uh, the whole thing that I wanted to learn is about the Windows ecosystem. I'm using Windows 10 Preview on both devices, the Lumia 1520, the Lumia 640. And what I wanted to do was find out whether or not I'm able to use this device as my daily driver and, and it can get work done the way I want to. Can I find all the apps that I need? Uh, does the operate system run very fast and fluid and everything else? So, if you notice that I've made on this channel countless of videos, a lot of videos about every detail that I've came across about these devices. If you haven't watched none of the Windows 10 preview videos, please subscribe to my channel and check them out. Real quick, guys, I'm not going to make this a long, drawn-out video. I'm going to get straight to the point. I found all the apps that I need for me to run. Listen, I have all my school and business apps, OneNote, OneDrive, PowerPoint, um, Evernote, OneDrive, everything that I need. And the, the operating system runs very fast, very fluent. No issues with app crashes. Again, I'm running... Windows 10 preview on these devices. So I had to have an open mind about that. I had to have an open mind that this device would uh, not having a final bill, uh, whether or not I could use this device as my daily driver. Usually you can't run uh, unfinished software as your daily driver. Now I did run into some issues. Uh, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, but I was able to find all my games, Dead Trigger 2. Uh, Model Combat 4, Model Combat 5, Asphalt 8. Uh, now, the only game uh, that I near and dear love that's not on the Windows 10 platform is Clash of Clans. I made a video about that. Uh, and uh, so, yes, no, Clash of Clans is not in the Windows App Store. But a fellow YouTuber uh, suggested Age of Empires. Thank you to my fellow YouTuber. And uh, I call him Mr. 710. Thank you. Thumbs up to him. That gave me suggestions. Also, a lot of YouTubers out there flooded my comments with a lot of suggestions. Thank you. I was able to find a lot of apps that I questioned in some of my previous videos. Um, YouTube, I found my tube works beautifully. Um, also, uh, again, a lot of people say, oh, it's no Google apps on here. I found Wise. Wise is a form of Google uh, Maps uh, that works very, very well. Also, um, I found that Here Maps works very well. So I want to scratch out the, um, you know, Google ecosystem that's not on this device. You can still go to the Edge browser and use uh, Google.com. So that's there. Um, speaking of, of browsers. You are able to download multiple browsers. UC browser uh, is very good. Also, Edge browser worked out pretty well. Again, preview. Uh, so you got to give Microsoft a pass on some of this stuff. This is not final build software. But I still use it as my daily driver. Uh, I'm using the 1520 uh, 2013 device. Okay, with a Snapdragon 800 process in it. Works very well, very fluid. Uh, 20 megapixel camera, do LED flash on here. Also, uh, I'm using a 648 megapixel camera, single flash on here. Uh, the reason why I'm using two uh, Microsoft devices is because I want a big one and a small one. But uh, let's talk about battery life. Uh, if you got a 1520, you already know that the battery life on the 1520 is phenomenal. I mean, two days, uh, you, I can't even count the screen on time uh, for this device. Also, you know, usually with preview versions, uh, you have issues with battery didn't have no issues with battery uh, 10 uh, 1080p screen here 720p screen here on the 640 also battery life on the 640 great 2500 milliamp battery i mean phenomenal battery life on these devices 
uh, the Windows 10 uh, preview it ran pretty good for me for my 30 day challenge. Now, let's talk about some of the things that I ran into. You know, we talk about the app gap. You know, uh, I didn't run into the app gap. The only thing was Clash of Clans. Uh, if I wanted to uh, go to my banking app, I just make it a, a home screen uh, page. And I just press it and it goes straight to my uh, the full version of my banking. So that's a wash. Uh, I was able to use uh, Wise and Here Maps for my GPS. So uh, Google Maps is a wash. Uh, I like the uh, the ecosystem itself because I use OneDrive a lot uh, when I use type of paper. I made a video here uh, that I use an Excel spreadsheet on a 1020 and it worked great. Uh, so do I have app crashes and random reboots? Yes, I did. Windows 10 preview. So I kept it, uh, kept an open mind. Uh, did I find all my social media? Yes, I did. I, I used Facebook. Uh, I used the native app. It worked pretty good. Uh, I used uh, six tag for my Instagram. Worked pretty good. Uh, also, uh, I used Tweetum. Tweetum worked pretty good. Uh, so I, I got all my social media apps. Yes, it does uh, have issues with Periscope. A Periscope uh, has a viewer, but you can't create Periscope. So, yes, you do have some app gaps. I was able to find all my benchmark tests and everything here. In conclusion here, and again, I didn't want to make this video this long. I told you guys the good and the bad, the ugly. I've made videos about that. I've made videos about gaming. Uh, gaming is phenomenal on these devices. Windows 10 is getting apps. Uh, Windows 10... Uh, is uh, getting better uh, so in conclusion uh, am I going to stay with the Windows 10 platform or am I going to leave and go to go back to Android well I'm going to answer I'm going to answer that question right now I like the Windows platform. I'm giving the Windows platform a thumbs up. I I'm loving the stuff, the potential of the Windows and the Windows 10 platform. I like to be different. I like to be customizable. Uh, I like the apps in the App Store. Uh, I like the fluidity of Windows 10, even though it's a preview. So am I going to stay with the Windows 10 and the Windows 10 platform. Welcome to the Nokia Lumia 650 XL. So yes, I am staying a Windows user and yes, I am a Windows believer and yes, uh, I now have the Microsoft Lumia 6950 XL. So, am I a Windows believer? Yes, I am. Uh, I like the ecosystem. Uh, and I'm going to continue to use the Microsoft Lumius and the Microsoft ecosystem uh, as my daily driver. I am a Microsoft believer and I want to try Microsoft out. And uh, I believe that uh, the ecosystem uh, it's great. I, uh, I had exciting time with this ecosystem. And uh, for, for $649, let's see what this device is all about. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Uh, like this video. Leave your comments down below. Are you excited uh, about the Windows platform? Uh, and let me, let me know what you think, guys, about me switching from Android to Windows. Permanently. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Peace.